Hi. Welcome to the Little Red Mitten Podcast. I'm Jillian. I'm Jillian. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. So we have a couple things to show. It was all showing. But a couple new things in store and then a bunch of projects, I guess, like, like whips and buffets and stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. We can all start there. Okay. Doesn't matter. No one's there? That's not how we do this. No, I think we do that for this stuff first. Okay. We don't need one now. Okay. FOs. Um, whips. Whips. Whips first. Which, oh, I don't think I have any whips. Um, I, don't, I, whips. I, don't, I don't know what's in my bag. This bag has been packed for, like... Okay, well, let's just see what's in your magical bag. Oh, I guess whips. This would count as a whip. Got to put it into this game. I'm looking for whips. I got nothing. Okay. Mm, FOs. Okay. <laughs> you have no whips in there. No, okay. I haven't. I so I've finished some things and I have no idea what to knit next. My, uh, which is in my bag in the back, but it's not really any further. The um, pinwheel mm. thing. Katrina tried to seam it for me because I pulled it out because I was going to do it during Girls Day. And then I was like, uh, and Katrina's like, do you want me to do it? I was like, yes, please. And she, I think she ended up doing two of them the wrong way because you have to put them like a certain way, right, to make them work. Yeah. And then I never touched them after that. So it's only half seam, so it's not really any further along to show. So, other than that, I've just been doing nothing at night. <laughs> But I do have an FO. What? You need to pull out all your whips. So that I looked on. I looked on Ravelry to see what whips I have. Uh-huh. And I was like, I don't want to work with any of these. <laughs> so, yeah. What you got? So I finished my slub Surrey Cookie Monster Ranunculus. No, it's not. But it's so soft and gorgeous. I've worn it the work beginning of the week um, with my purple dress. doesn't match my teal dress. I was hoping it would, but my mm. teal dress is too pretty. Anyway, this is Oasis um, on Neon Roxy Slub and Surrey held together, and I made the ranunculus without the lace work. Yeah. So it's just a nice crop, three-quarter length, like my other worsted weight sort of one. That's the wrong sleeve because you can't see it. Can you see it here? I think I'm wearing it. Anyway, it's gorgeous, but it's so soft. Yeah, it's really nice. Let's see. I believe we have. Oh, I don't know. I think there's a little bit of Oasis. There was some in the mitten. I don't know if it's yeah. still there. Yeah, I feel like somebody bought some, but. Anyway. It might be available. <laughs> it will be over. It will be shortly if it's not up there right now. Um, there's probably some on the Oloxies. Either one of them. It will be eventually on Mitten. Do you have any uniforms? Nope. Any whips? Oh, I have an FO. <gasps> no. Do I have an FO? Let's see. I guess. Maybe. I can't remember now. I don't know. It's a good sign. It's promising, but it could also be a sock and it could just be one sock done. No, they're both dead. <gasps> but all the tanks. Oh, this is still, still oh, attached. Because I need that, because that's the sock that I forgot to bring today. It's still attached to the thing. Well, mm. yeah. anyway, I showed these last time. These are the Bear Paw Socks. Um, the pattern's by Andrea Mowry. The yarn is Leo and Roxy. Um, two colors. You got the basic black in the base from the basics line, and Bear Queen on the top. They're done-ish. The ends have to be done. They will be done. <laughs> if they did, I'd never have any finished projects. <laughs> I still wear my scrappy socks and all the ends are inside of them. So that's technically an FO. FO. Done. Yay. I will leave in the ends. You want to show more because I only have apparently one other thing. or well, two other things. I have got three. So really? really? 
What the three did you get this? So, you said I showed this last time with the baby sweater? Yeah. Okay, well then, there's really no point in showing it, because I switched to the smaller DPNs and started the ribbing, and there is one, two, two rows of ribbing done. Why would you put that down and then just finish it? <laughs> there you go. Two rows of ripping done. Is that the last? Oh, you still have one more sleeve. Still have one more sleeve. Yeah, like literally from the last time we recorded, which was, yeah, a, like a week ago. ago. Yeah. Uh, then two rows of ripping. Where's the weight? It should take not long at all. That's why I was like, why not just finish the cuff on the thing? Distract. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> I actually didn't get much knitting done this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beginning of the week, oh, I clean, cleaned here, cleaned my house a couple yeah. days, and then totally burned myself out. And then the last couple days have been useless. Um, I don't know if I've shown this. It might have been in the last video, or you may have seen it. I had pulled. This was another project I had pulled out of um, like deeper whips have been sitting stagnant for a while. So I'm on I just started the heel flap on the second side. Looks like I showed it. Looks like I showed it because I put a marker here from when I picked it up and then I have a marker here. So I must have showed it and then put a new marker in. But um, uh, I thought I showed it at this stage too, which I might have. Yeah, you the one have. that was lost or yeah. whatever, but I just thought I'd bring it put back into the rotation. So, uh, yeah, so like the total project's 75% done. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this is in Yarn Indulgences. Mm -hmm. um, Zebras, I think they call it. She calls it zebra saw. Zebra marl or something. Yeah. Zebra yeah. Which I think we have. We have some. Uh, we have some. Yeah. This is from a while ago, but um, we have some new, and some new colors like that. And um, flock fiber has one like this. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple. On the wall right now. I think Justin Allison might still die on this. We don't. We don't have it in the store, yeah. but. Um, I have so I have a whole bunch of oh yeah full moon fibers, I have a whole bunch of full moon fibers on this base. Yeah. I really like it <clears throat> in my personal in my personal stitch. Every time we have a trunk show or whatever, I add more. So I can yeah. never get to knitting it. But that's what I need to do. Should I do? Should I do a pair of Jess and Allison socks before they get here? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of pressure. Yes. Like 20, 20 days. It's 10 days. Now I want to go grab them. I had them all together because we mm -hmm. were all up. I don't know what you did with them. But the next look after. Okay. So those are two whips of my current rotation whips. Okay. So I. How do you bring that thing? This. Oh! <laughs> She's like, Oh, that makes sense because I made these earrings with the leftovers. <laughs> um, this is the Wham Bam Thank You Lamb neck warmer. And the only reason I made it is because I love the name of it and I wanted to say, Wham Bam Thank You Lamb. I don't want to put it on my hair. Okay. I can't do this in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the earrings get in the way. I think it's a really nice little thing. I have it's... to. I forgot to weigh it again. Um, but I used our new alpaca mist, which we'll show in a bit. I don't think we have the yarn in here. Um, alpaca mist and Cascade Two Twenty the non super wash. The kind of one of the colors, like yeah. turtle or something. Um, but it was a super easy yarn, so I think I cast it on on Friday night. 
Actually, yeah, I cast it on Friday night after knit night. And I went home and cast it on because the colors that I was trying didn't work. I was doing the gray and the green, and I didn't like it at all. Um, and so I went home and I cast it on. And yeah, it's just garter stitch. And then you seam it off center. Yeah. And I think you can maybe, I have to weigh my skeins. I think you can maybe get like three of them out of it. Yeah. At least two. But doing them for probably pre- Christmas three. presents or something. Yeah. Um, but it's super like soft and stretchy and mm-hmm. and super easy Christmas present for something like that. Mm-hmm. I think she calls the pattern calls for like a bulky weight. So mm-hmm. I did worsted and then the alpaca mist is like knit up at a worsted gauge, so like two worsteds yeah. sort of together. Um so yeah, I could definitely do it in bulky, but I think like this was really nice. So I can't really I wanna see what I'm showing and I can't because it's like so that was a nice easy one. I don't, well, I should just cast on another one and just make multiples of them. <laughs> so that was my other F O. That's it. That's all my knitting ones. These earrings that you finished this morning. Just made out of the fluffy blue sea flat. I'm gonna cast it on. <laughs> Oh, that's right. That's sad. <laughs> I was all excited and then I was like, oh yeah. I, know. I figured that reaction was that you it was a surprise. No. Uh, you haven't seen it though in a while. I've hid it from you. Yes. Since. So but, what was the weekend we had? The flock together weekend, which we never really talked about. We'll have to do that at some point. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So but what, that was two is that two weeks? Yes. Two weeks ago. Um so, yeah, two weekends ago, we had the flock together, and I cast on a new project there. Oh. And that's a lot of progress. It, it's worse it. It comes together pretty quickly. Um, it's this sweater. It's a sweater. It's from um, Pom Pom Quarterly Magazine, Walk Party, the quilt-inspired issue. I've loved this issue for since it came out yeah there's been a couple was, sweaters and they like one came out that you've been wanting to do spring of 21 so this is like three years old three and a half years old and there's multiple projects in here i want to do and i don't even know that this one was really actually one of the ones no. on my radar at all i picked up the book to look at something else to to cast on and then i saw this and it was like Ooh. was it like from, this from like trying on those the jackets from it could be from like those like that jackets that were, but so also like, like I like I like the Trinigan which has the big yes. sleeves yeah. and the shorter like open cardigans I really like um, been doing cropped in pullovers mm-hmm. but this way I could get like not be super hot anyway I saw that. I was looking. I was looking to possibly start. Maybe I'll find it. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, so that doesn't help. My, my brain just is. Going on. Okay, so if anybody can paper. Okay, right, so she wanted to start this one. I said she wasn't allowed to because she has another whip. That's so, not exactly like that. What's the style called? The Ruana? Mm, yeah. yeah, it's like a blanket cardigan. So it's like a really long blanket, basically, with a split down the center, up, like halfway kind of thing. So it's like a right. square here and then two rectangles, so the rectangles mm. come down. Yeah. Anyway, so I wanted to start that. And then... I only started this instead. This was... That one was like you have to pick all the colors and stuff like that. Well, when we talked about I wanted doing to, it yeah, a couple different to, ways, we had to right? lay it, lay it. Out. I wanted to lay it out and make it a, and I still want to start it, but I started this instead. So I need to measure. Yeah, you had like about like you did quite a bit of progress that weekend, like on the ribbing, right? Yeah. Or not the ribbing, but whatever. Like yeah, the, the gar- border, the garter, the section. garter tab, which has had some short rows. Um, it's farther than it gets there in the center. And then I think I might have just started 
maybe not even started. No, I hadn't seen. I don't think I'd seen the honeycomb might, part or whatever it's called. I might not have. I might have just been ready to. And then, yeah, it's so mm-hmm. so two weeks. It's so pretty. Yeah, so I, I need to measure here. I think it's at twelve inches. I need to look to, for dividing the. the front You're doing twelve in. inches from like the, the, in the no from the hem, but in the middle of the back. No, yeah, you could be close to it. Yeah, because that's like that's gonna stretch out more, right? Like it's a like little bit. It's not super wash. It's not gonna stretch. Too no, much, but it's but pretty bunchy. Like it yeah, can at least yeah. go like that, right? So that's nine inches to here. Yeah. So you have you're at maybe ten inches, ten and a half. It's really nice. And I really like it. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do. It's not true. This one can't. No. This one can't be with me. It's mine. Campfire smell. I don't smell. I don't smell. Uh, well. No. It was not. Interesting. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. It would be hard to get it out. Okay. Um, that's not true. You did a little bit of this. Spinning. We both did some spinning. So I spun this up uh, on Monday. I'd started it and I got like a bobbin and a half. I applied it. So I spun it with a Malabrigo new. I have no idea what colorway I meant to look for my thing. I think I threw all my wrappers out. I have to look through this. So if we have it in stock, we uh, think we could do it. And so then I applied it the next morning and then I Took it off the bobbin. Are these bobbins? Yes. Um, I'm a really good spinner. I know all the things. <laughs> I put it on the Nitty Naughty last night because I wanted to, I bought some more fiber and I wanted, it was like eight o'clock at night. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it was like, I'm like, I was fired. still here? Yeah. Like, it was like we were leaving. Yeah. Gio was ready to go and after dinner night last night. And I'm like sitting there like putting it on the Nitty Naughty because I'm like, I'm going to go home and spin with my new fiber. And then I didn't. <laughs> I was like done. Um, <clears throat> Cause I wanted a bobbin for you. I think I have one at home, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so I have to put the other one on the nitty naughty, and then it's not super. It hasn't been washed yet, so we'll see. But I think it's really pretty. That very yes. unspun right there. But it was lots of fun. Gio asked me several times last night. He's like, "Do you? Is it fun?" Doing the thing that uses the poppin. Because <laughs> he's seen my spinning wheel and he's like touched it and stuff like that. Yeah. And then he saw the ones that were here. He's like, oh, do you get to do that with two feet? Oh, because yours is a single channel? Mine's a single. Yeah. And so then he's sitting in the back room. He's not sitting, he's standing and he's trying to do it with his feet. Like, you know, like make it look like he's doing the, the two channels. But yeah. it just looks weird. I'm like, well, you have to sit down and do it because he's doing something weird with his like knees and stuff like that. I should get him to like sit on it and, 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 and actually treadle, but uh, I'll see if I can find that one for you. Uh, I know I have more upstairs. If we're out down here, I can get some more in stock. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it in the. That could be in the drawer. Um, so, it was our girls' day, that's what we were spinning at on Monday, and so, same as Jillian, I had singles already on the bobbin, I had a little bit left for my second bobbin at this, and then I applied them. So, this is, um, I forget what it's called on the website, it's like a rainbow, it's called, like, it's under the tweed... Uh, we'll look up the things, but it's, it's a tweed uh, top, and it's got all rainbow color tweedy bits on, on a, like, creamy white base. Tweed, I think it's called tweed top. And then there's different colors, though. Is yours Taste the Rainbow? Yes, so this is Taste the Rainbow under the tweed tops. Oh, yeah, there's just some space. Yeah, there's none left of it, but... I, there will be, when this goes up, there will be, I'll go do that today. Um, 
<clears throat> and I'll it's wash. Really I'll wash this up and put it in the skein. We always come down with in this back there. I will do the same. <gasps> I can make a. I can make a lamb. Bam. Thank you, lamb, out of it. It's probably not actually quite be thick enough, but well, you can adjust. It'll I just be, it'll it's be just, enough. Yeah, it just has to be like I'll make. I'll just cast on more stitches and just keep going till I get to the length, right? Mm-hmm. Like I just have to kind of play with it that way. That's a perfect idea for handspun, actually. Tell. Yeah, because I have a little bit more at home. I meant to look and see what I have, but I have like I've never spun like a ton. Yeah, right. Like I've only ever spun a little bit, so I have like little balls of stuff, and it's like I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. But so that was fun. I really love spinning, and I don't get my wheel out. Yeah, I really enjoyed it too, and I was actually able to start the second, the first, last two couple times I taken it out. Right, I needed you to start. Start it for me. Yeah. But I was able to start my second bobbin all on my own. Katrina was I think having a hard time watching to try to do it because I kept pulling little heads off because I was like, that's not working. But uh Yeah. Um I do have one more FO. Mm-hmm. Can I have your earrings that oh again, what is this? Why? <laughs> That is weird. I don't know. And does it? It doesn't show up. It, no, I think it does show up. I'm pretty sure it does. I think I went and looked. Okay. I don't know. If it didn't show up, a big thumbs up just showed up on my head, on the screen, and because I don't know why. We'll have to we have no idea why. Twenty three minutes. Um. So on the lost podcast. Lost podcast. Oh, our last on our last yes. last one, the one that we recorded and that didn't save. Mm-hmm. Um, I made you something back then. I made you something. Oh, you made me those. Yeah. Okay. So I made you some earrings because you said you wanted some. Mm-hmm. You won't wear them. <laughs> I said I wanted earrings with a full size mini. I said she made me earrings with a full size mini. Can I touch this one? <laughs> <laughs> your heart it touches your heart. It touches You're my so- neck. It touches my cheek. I want full size mini earrings because I would just play with them my like hair. <laughs> and these are what Aren't Julia, they pretty? These are what Julian made me on the last one. Okay, well I have something yeah. new for you instead. These are just like prototypes. Like as I just I just made them yesterday morning before I got here. Okay. And I bought the stuff last night. Like the day, like I just got it. So I, they're brand new. They're their prototypes. Ooh, did you buy resin? I did. And that has like little fluffs of fiber in So it? like when I trim my earrings, I was getting these fluff. I was like, oh, that would be so cool in... Were you wearing one earlier? I was wearing them yesterday. Mm. Um, and we like thought that leftover fluffy stuff would be so cool. And it matches your sweater perfectly. So glad you wore orange and pink today. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't tell me to or anything. No. Those are but they, so But I guess they still cool. kind of touch you. I don't know if they're too... They're always oh, way better than, like, the full size. <laughs> than a full size. <laughs> like, I I wear those tassel ones. They're lighter. I think it just depends, lighter. On, like, these, it just depends are, on how... These are, like, don't hardly touch. How sensitive I am to touch that but, day, like, but... this is a really big. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I bought resin, and I was that's like... fun. So, like, and then just little molds? Yeah, yeah, and I bought molds, so I have a whole bunch of different molds, so, like, different size, like, three different sizes of each shape, so mine that I was wearing yesterday was, like, the windows, like, the, with the rounded on the top and the square on the bottom, mm-hmm. okay. and there's rounded one, like, there's a whole bunch of them, but I'm still playing with it, because I'm not getting, like, there's air bubbles in it, mm-hmm. I'm getting the air bubbles out, Yeah, Monica's like, oh, no, the air bubbles, like, add character to it, and stuff like that, and then the back on yours aren't too bad, but some of them, like, the it's first ones I did, reference. they weren't, like... Anyway, so I'm just, I'm still playing with them, but, like, from afar, you can't see those more, like, littler imperfections and stuff like that. I think no, really cute. I just read the color. It's nice. And, yeah, well, and they go, they're cure under UV light, so, like, they, like, just the way they light up sort of underneath it and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mine, I did it in, like, the green, so I have, like, some of the neon green in it, so it just, like, yeah. glows, which you don't see when they're done, but it's fun. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so I just used the little fluff. And then, like, I made fluff yesterday because I didn't have, like, I've been throwing mine out. Mm-hmm. 
but it uses so little fluff. Oh, tight. Like, like, you're not putting anything in it. Like, even the fluff from my earrings would... Like, I'd never <laughs> even use all that up, right? No. But even if, yeah, you didn't use scraps and it was... It came as an idea because of the leftovers. Of yeah, you could just go things, into your like, you could go into your stash. Oh, take a, a full, brand new take scheme. a full scheme and find the end find of it. The tag, yeah, or right, the tag. and then just like trim a little bit of that and make whatever. Yeah. So anyway, that I guess is another another new project that I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a couple things that I got at KW Knitters Fair, and then I'll show you what we brought back. In KW's Media Fair, at least some of the things. So I got a bunny mushroom bag because what was I wearing that day? You don't know this? Did you wear this? Outfit? No, I was wearing neons or something because they're like, oh, this goes with your outfit. Mm -hmm. Did you wear your orange this? skirt? No, I don't, I don't think so. I had brought my orange skirt. Your shirt. You wore your knit, knit, knit shirt. Okay. And just jeans. Okay. So maybe. Um, I wouldn't even have worn. I was gonna say pants, but I wore pants. I was thinking <laughs> shoes. I was trying to think of what I wore on my feet. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This apparently went with my outfit and stuff like that. So I bought this oh, bag. Did you have the Did you have the cassette earrings in? Oh yeah, that's right. The Leo and Roxy cassette earrings, the orange and pink ones. That would make sense. I was like, I don't know why this went with my outfit. Because anyway, box. But yes, that makes sense. And I like those colors and the bunny mushroom bags are really nice. I have a couple other ones from them from when they were here for the talk show. And then I picked up some dirty martini on worsted from Feisty Fibers because when she was here for a talk show in August, I really like this color. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I picked some of that up for myself. I only picked up two skeins of worsted, so I have no idea what I'm making with it. <laughs> Silly. I think that's all she had of that. Of that. What do you, I probably wouldn't have bought more anyway, but I'll mix it with something else. I think, oh, I was going to make that um, orbital jumper, the one that I made out of Briggs and mm -hmm. um, mohair, so stripes, and then maybe do like a hot pink, like a, some kind of pink with. Yes, so that's what that was going to be. So two would be enough for that. And you're not wearing here? I don't know. I find the right pink now. All right, so maybe with Surrey or something like that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Or... Ooh, the green. Do I need more green tops? So like... <laughs> That and that, even though my other one is also green and green. Yeah. It totally makes sense. This green. <laughs> so that's a different green. Totally different green. Totally different green. And then, yeah, the mohair, the alpaca from this is like a little bit brighter than what you're seeing on here just because we're sold out of it right now. Um, it's probably in the back. Anyway, so I could do that. Or I was, my original one was to do like, like a... Like the, is it frustrating fuchsia or cranky and I know it? The darker one is the cranky. Mm -hmm. One of those two, right? Where it's like pink flamenco, but they're dirty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's what that, that, that's why I only, I only need two for that sweater. So if I find mohair or surrey or something like that to go with it, then. That's what we come, and it's done on like nine mil, like, well, the pattern calls for 10 mil, anyways. But I did it on nines, and it mm -hmm. knits up pretty quickly. So, um, but when we were at KW, mm -hmm. we picked out some more yarn. Oh, I didn't grab any from her. Um, we picked out some more yarn to put on the Indie Dyer, Canadian Indie Dyer wheel. Yes. So, we have. The only one I don't have is Mithlina's. I'm not in her wheels. I think I have a couple dances. Yes. So we have okay. some from Jelaine Yarns, a couple skeins of her socks. This is 7525. And then Debbie from Love and Path. Um, a couple colors from her as well. 
Yes. Everything is everything's up on the website. Um, pretty string. I love this color. Ooh. With this color, I did go. that sweater, but not mohair. Like, yeah. I don't know how that would look being so, um, like not being mohair and so see through, right? Did it on like a nine millimeter gauge? How that mm-hmm. contrast would be. So that would be really good. Okay. And then the frosted stitch. And I just pulled like random colors off the wall from one of the ones I could find, but there's quite a few colors of each of them yep. up there. And the listings have a couple. The listings might have like one of every color as their name for them. Mm-hmm. But then there are, might have just done a couple of them. And then we picked up a wandering her wolves. We had some of hers from her trunk show last year. We did more of her yarns. They were also gorgeous. So that's what we brought from, from KW. Did you buy anything at KW? What is the next oh, My pocket. Oh, yeah. Do you know what it is? Mm-hmm. Maybe. So next time. Yeah. I need to find a pocket. I looked at it. I looked. I didn't look at the ones you got. I looked at the one that was around yeah. the booth from us. But I'm really picky about... It has to match things. So I'm going to wear it all the time. And then... There's some pretty ones, though. Yeah, so it's a pocket. I'll show it. It's like a belt. It's almost like a fanny pack kind of idea. But then it's flat. Yeah. You can't see what it means. But we'll we'll grab it and show it. Do you want to see what it means? But we'll grab it and show it. Or I can take a picture and yeah. give it to Katrina. Yeah. Um, so that's KW. Um, I did work on a swatch at Flock Together. This is a swatch of our new alpaca mist that's in the store. Um, it's 89% super fine alpaca and 11% recycled polyamide. Look at all the colors that are in it. Like, I'm looking at this red right now, and there's, like, blues and yellows, and that's really pretty. I've never looked at it that closely. Yeah. Um, but when this first came in, I was thinking about making the stripes sweater with all the colors, because there's, like, 20 colors or something like that. I was like, I'm going to grab one of our whiskey and make a stripe sweater. I'm like, okay, that's too many colors. I did narrow it down and picked, like, nine um, and then when Kelly was here on the weekend for Knits and Pieces, on that weekend, she was looking at it and wanted to make something small. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't find anything, and I couldn't find anything. We were looking on Ravelry, and I was like, well, I wanted to make this striped sweater with it. Yeah. And so Kelly brought bought colors that night. I wound them up, and then I swatched. Um, so we can kind of figure it out. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's about like a worsted gauge. The top was done on like a, which you guys can't really see, but it's done on like a three and a half, three and three quarters, three point seven five, and then the bottom is done on like a five millimeter. So you can't like see through it, right? Like it's it's quite nice. And then Kelly and I spent Saturday night figuring out math. Yeah. To do it because the um, striped sweater is done in DK. DK. Yeah. And so we did some math to figure out what would work. And I think Kelly's sweater is like, I think she had sleeves left to do. And I don't know if she was doing full sleeves or three quarter sleeves. I don't remember what she said. Mm-hmm. But it looks really pretty. So there's 20 colors some of them are sold out right now i have a couple of colors up for pre-order oh that's really pretty it's gorgeous so this is what i used for that wham bam thank you lamb cow in the green so if if there's any patterns that you've been wanting to do that call for like a worsted weight no hair this would work it's the yeah, brushed alpaca. It's giving that exact same feeling. It's, yeah, but yeah, it's translating. Um, 
Yeah. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. By its by itself, it's nice. Mm-hmm. So I think like this with this. Oh, that's actually pretty. Oh yeah. Um, because I have a speed of this at home, and I can step this up and start it around at this color, but I don't know. I might actually only need one skein of it. And that's what I do. I think I used two minis. I held it double for the other one, right? Because it mm. was like regular mohair, so it was yeah, thin. So I held it double because I wanted it to it like the single look. But that might actually be totally different than what I was going for the hot pink to this. Yeah. But it'd be nice though. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll cast that on. Anyway, I don't know. I'm easily distracted. Okay, so that's there's a lot there's lots of new yarns in the shop right now. Yes. So that's one of them. There are several others. Maybe we'll do like a intentional like we'll go room by room. Yes. Or something like that to show so. some of them because there's quite a few. There's a bunch of different fluff ones and then a bunch of just, like there's some in every room. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think that's <laughs> the computer keeps. Screaming. I think that's exactly what we do is kind of go room by room and show what's new or what's yeah. what we love in each yeah. in each room kind of idea because there's kind of ideas if we think of anything for some of them. Yeah, there's quite a few. Um. I, I, okay, so in front of me, I've got some maybe. Um, Christmas sock. Some of the commercial Christmas sock. So West Yorkshire. These ones are sparkly, and uh, I think we have two other colors I of West Yorkshire think, Christmas. I think this one in non-sparkle, or maybe not. Maybe I could be wrong. There's a, a color like this. There's a candy cane color in West Yorkshire, plus we have this zigzag one that like nice solid color like that. And then there's there's two there's, more. There's another one. I didn't grab all of them. Yeah. I just grabbed a couple to show you. And then there's that one does have the thing on it. Yeah. So then there's this uh, oh, that's, Milana Grande. That Grane. one's six ply. So DK. Oh, is this the six ply one? But there is the same one in four ply, like sock here. And then there's the same one again with sparkle. Yes. In four ply. So, so yeah, there's a bunch of different Christmas sock yarns, which are always popular at this time of year. Um, last night I was thinking, yep, it's, sometimes it happens, sometimes I do that. Good job. I'm very proud of you. Okay, the... Breaking news. <laughs> last the, night, Jillian learned how to think. <laughs> um, the book that I bought um oh it's almost time okay the book that I bought the for self-striping. self-striping stuff yeah right which I was thinking would something like this if you don't want to make soft gift yeah there's a cowl in there that I was going to make with my other self-striping brand that I had bought yeah um but I wanted to look in there and see because you could do like hand warmers with them right yeah the cowl is really pretty I'll have to find it and I can maybe take a picture and send it to Katrina to put in here but I thought with a contrasting color right to do the stripes and like have it sort of Christmassy and stuff like that. Or this one, which is not as Christmassy, right? With like the gold and stuff like that in there. It doesn't have to be quite as. So there are a couple other things you could do. Even just like a scarf knit back and forth would be pretty. Yeah. Garden stitch or stockinette. Right? Um, Mara's right. woven scarves with Christmas sock yarn in the past and oh. they always turn out really nice. Nice. If you, if you need it, like a little bit of a or something, mm-hmm. it turns out really nice. That would be pretty. It's All right. I don't need a scarf. The store is about to open, so mm-hmm. I think it's time for us to wrap up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Anything else? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Oh yeah, it's right there. Yep. You alright? Yep. I'm fine. I was just gonna show. <laughs> oh.
Oh my goodness. What? Uh, I don't know. My allergies. It's this. Probably. You took this camping, you were outside, and now it's attacking you. Put it away. Yeah. It's the wool. It's just the wool? Really? Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were like... <laughs> uh, when, when, um, <laughs> like... When, like, Jameson and Smith used to come in and Briggs and stuff, like, it, I feel it. Really? That's not good. Like, do you remember being like that when you knit the rest of this? Like, no. I did knit most of it, I so. 